Another Stock Pulse News Debrief in the mining sector. I've got Bluebird Battery Metals, that's B-A-T-T, on the venture as they commence an exploration program at its Priority Canagrass Nickel Cobalt Copper Project in Western Australia. Right now, I've got the CEO and Chairman Peter A. Ball on the phone with me. And uh, Hey, Peter, I uh, appreciate you joining me here. I know you're on the road. Uh, we caught up here a couple weeks ago in Vancouver. Hey, why don't, you, uh, why don't you take some time here and run through the release today? Yeah, thanks, Rob. It's always good to catch up, and it was it was good to see you at at the uh, Cambridge International Conference in Vancouver a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's been it's been a couple uh, busy weeks uh, since we've recently chatted. As as I indicated in Vancouver, we recently launched Bluebird Battery Metals. We we changed the symbol to B A T T. We're focused on the battery metal sector. You know, we've really seen the interest in the in the sector over the last year, just just surge uh, the exponential exponential demand for cobalt um, related to the EV revolution is just is really just brought in the eyes to the cobalt sector. And and right after I I spoke to you in Vancouver, I I headed down to the U.S. to the annual uh, cobalt conference, and it really opened our eyes at Bluebird of of the energy and the optimism of what they see happening in in the market over the next. Uh, five to ten years um, in in, our, in that sector, there's going to be a big supply gap in, in the uh, supply demand curve for for cobalt going forward. Um, so what what we're doing here at Bluebird again, we we put together the management team as I indicated, uh, myself and, and Al Stewart and Terry Topping from Australia and Wes Hansen from Ontario, and we put some news out this morning. What this news this morning is really telling our shareholders and other people watching what we're doing is looking at a couple of our first acquisitions we made. We made two acquisitions, Cane Grass. It's a nickel copper, uh, nickel cobalt copper project in Western Australia that we recently acquired. And we also touched on the end of this release about our BAT uh, project, uh, cobalt copper project in the Yukon. So we, we acquired these projects. We're actually, we went down to Australia a couple, uh, a few weeks ago. And we went to get boots on the ground just to just to talk to the exploration team that's going to be leading um, the exploration efforts. Uh, New Exco, a really talented group that we're excited to be able to work with. They they've helped put together um, the information. We're going to be doing a ground EAM ground EM survey, an airborne airborne mag, and really what these are going to do is look at the cane grass project that. Yeah, a few years ago, I had a number of, of indicators uh, that were presented, but the market just wasn't ready. Nickel was in, in the wrong direction, and the previous company just couldn't get the funding. They hit some really interesting nickel and cobalt and copper grades right at surface. It looks really good in, 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 in the dollar value of the, per ton in the rock sitting right at surface. There's a number of targets. We have about 14. We believe we'll be able to expand this. Uh, we're getting control of the entire land position and likely finish this geophysical program here by the end of May and June. We've already started to look at the permitting. We see no issues in any shape or form of probably being able to get the drill, uh, the drill bit turning in July. So we're really excited for our really just to the launch of, of Bluebird in Australia, uh, Western Australia, just a few hours down a paved highway right off the road. Uh, with a great land package um, from Perth, and we just touched on on the release, uh, on the in the release about the Bat uh, Cobalt Copper project in the Yukon. It is again right next to a highway. Um, it's got some really interesting high grade cobalt historical grades. Uh, we made a um, an option agreement with Strategic Metals out of Vancouver. Solid group. Uh, they've been in the Yukon for for many years, accumulating some key ground. We see this as an opportunity to look at the potential, a long strike from the old Windy Crag uh, project, which is one of the highest grade um, and largest um, cobalt copper projects uh, from days gone back in the 80s. So we're going to advance that. We'll be having maybe boots on the ground again for that project in July. So two projects running concurrently. We're also, um, the reason we were in Australia a few weeks ago was really look at some additional accretive acquisitions. We're starting to talk to a few groups. Hopefully we'll be inking some deals here in the, in the near future, add some value to Bluebird. 
big year for us. Uh, we'll, we'll be building out the board, as I said, in Vancouver and uh, just get things going. So again, Rob, thanks again for taking the time. And, and if your readers ever want to get a hold of us, our, our information's on our, on our website and email us. We get back to everybody. We're very transparent and available and we're looking to build some new, uh, some new eyes on what we're doing. Okay. Peter Ball, chairman and CEO, Bluebird Battery Metals, B-A-T-T on the venture. Look forward to tracking the success, and uh, thanks for the time, Peter. Thanks, Rob. Cheers.